My desktop is a bit of a mess, but that's not going to stop me from showing you today how you can port a texture pack or transfer a texture pack, you know, make a texture pack work for Minecraft 1.12.2. Yeah, um, I'm going to be using one of my own texture packs, my clean wool texture pack. I'll leave my texture pack, a link to like my texture packs, that stuff, you know, down in the description if you want to check them out because I make quite a lot of them. Anyways, um, in uh, this case, this texture pack is going to work right now for 1.19.0, and I want to make it for work for 1.12.2. Um, you know, maybe your texture pack works for 1.18 or 1.19.4, 1 1.19.3. Um, that doesn't matter at all. It's all the same principle. It's all gonna work the same. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter what your pack works for right now we're just going to make it work for 1.12.2 because that's what we want yeah um so basically you should have your texture pack i've got mine right here you want to locate it and you'll notice that it's uh it's a compressed folder a zipped folder um and we don't want that so we can right click on this and then select the extract all option over there and then click on extract again and what this is going to do is this is going to create a folder um, which is the exact same as this one however it's not a zip folder but it's just a regular file folder yeah now depending on your OS you might not actually be able to to select the extract all option here um, if that's not the case, then you're going to want to pro install a third party program like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Um, and all those are going to do is just um, help you to perform what I just did. Um, I'll leave those in the description, I guess. Anyways, we can put that in the recycle bin. We don't need the zip folder anymore. The only thing we care about is uh, the regular folder we've gotten. Yeah. Um, once we have that, we can enter. Once you are in here, um, we want to first off focus on the pack.mc meta. Um, this thing you see over here, you can open it up, use whatever program you want, Notepad, Word, maybe. I'm not sure if that works. I'm using Notepad++, which is a free um, program you can use if you want download it from the Microsoft Store or the internet online anything uh, in it, um, you'll see a few things so you'll see your pack format and the description of your pack the description doesn't matter you can leave that as it is um, but your pack format now that one is very important in this case my pack format is 9 which means that this is going to work um, that this texture pack will work for Minecraft 1.19. Um, if your texture pack works for 1.19.3 or 1.19.4, your pack format is going to be 12. Yeah, um, or any other version, it might be different. Yours might be 8 or 7 or 11, you know, really anything. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to remove that and replace whatever you had with 3. Yeah, so you want your pack format to be 3. And now that's very important because 3 is the pack format that is going to allow your texture pack to run for Minecraft 1.12.2. And that's what's going to tell Minecraft that your pack is meant to work for 1.12.2. Yeah. Now, some really important things to take note of. Um, you'll see stuff like commas here and... Um, quotation marks right let's say I were to remove this comma on accident um, now your entire pack is not going to work and it's not even going to show up inside of Minecraft um, so that stuff is very important make sure to not touch anything unnecessarily if you do have issues I've got an entire tutorial dedicated to troubleshooting your pack not showing up in Minecraft so I'll leave that in the description if um, if it's if you guys need it. Anyways, if your pack format is three, you can just hit Control S um, to save it or uh, go over to File and save it from there. Anyways, once it's saved, you can just exit out and then that part is finished. Now is a part of the tutorial in which some of you might already be finished, 
and able to rezip your pack and re-import it. I'll show how to do that in a second, but if you're unlucky, then you might still need to do a few things. Yeah, and that all just depends on what your pack does. Yeah, um, so if you'll uh, let me explain that. So you just want to go into your texture pack, and um, in my case, this is the only thing my texture pack does. The only thing my texture pack does is it changes the wool. Yeah, so I've got all the wool here, um, nothing else because it doesn't change anything else. I've only got this folder and then just the wool. Yeah, now your texture pack might change swords, it might change wood types, it might change every single block. Um, anyways, there's something really important you want to do and, well, it can be really annoying as well. In 1.12.2, occasionally have different names. Yeah, so the items were named different. And now if you know a little bit about texture pack, um, this is yellow wool, right? If you, know, if you know a little bit about texture packs, then you'll know that if I change this to, um, that for example, if I remove the underscore there, it's not going to work. This yellow wool texture is not going to import into Minecraft, right? Um, and that's really with anything, yeah? If you change the name, yeah? So if the name is incorrect, it's not going to import into Minecraft. And basically, in 1.12.2, some items have different names than they would in, for example, 1.16, 17, 18, 19, maybe 1.20 if you're watching the video and that's already come out. Um, but yeah, that can be really annoying. And now what we want to do is we want to be able to know what we're actually going to have to call all this. Because as I said, the names can be different. So to do that, the first thing you want to make sure of is that you've launched Minecraft 1.12.2 before. If you haven't, just head into the Minecraft launcher, launch up Minecraft 1.12.2, and then you can just exit out again. Yeah, once you have done that, you can press Windows and R, those keys, at the same time, and then type in percent sign, and then app data, and then another percentage sign. Yeah. Then you want to click on OK, and this folder or this folder is going to open up. One of them, one of the two. Yeah. Anyways, you want to make sure that if you're here, you want to go into roaming, or it might already open up roaming. Yeah. And then one of the top folders is going to be .minecraft. That's exactly the one we want. And then you'll see a folder over here called versions. We want to enter that as well. In here, you'll see every single version of Minecraft that you have launched before. That's why it's so important that you just launch Minecraft 1.12.2. Yeah. Anyways, um, you want to then, pretty obviously, right, select the 1.12.2 folder. And in here, you're going to see two things, a 1.12.2.jar and a 1.12.2.json. Yeah. Now, if you only see the 1.12.2 and not these little extensions over here, you can just look at the file type and you want the executable jar file. Yeah, you can right click on that and then just copy it. Yeah, because we are going to need it. Anyways, once you're back on your desktop, you can just paste it. Um, and now we've got this. Anyways, you see this little jar at the end over here, the 1.12.2 jar. Well, if you don't, you want to just go into your file explorer, just open that up, then to view, show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. Yeah, that's very important. Now, depending on your OS, um, this UI here might look a little bit different. You basically just want to make sure that you can see file name extensions. Yeah. Right click on that, rename it, and this is why it's so important you can see the dot jar. You want to remove the dot jar from the end and replace it with dot zip. 
then you should get a prompt that if you change your file name extension, the file might become unusable. In this case, we want to change it because our file will still be usable, as you can see right over here. Now, it's a regular zip folder, and you might recognize that. Yep, we had one of those at the beginning of this video as well. If you open that up, you'll see a whole bunch of items. Anyways, we only want the top folder, which is the assets folder. You can copy that to your desktop, um, and now that is going to take just a minute or so. It's done now, so I can click this away, and then you can just delete this zip folder. We don't need that. We only need this assets folder we now have. Um, so you can open this up and you'll recognize it. It's going to look a lot like your texture pack does. Anyways, you want to go into the Minecraft folder, then the textures folder, and then the blocks folder. In here, you're going to see every single block in Minecraft 1.12.2. Oh, and if your texture pack changes items, you'll go into the items folder. Or if it changes entities, you can go into the entities folder. You get the idea. Yeah. Anyways, um, you can open up this textures folder and your own texture pack at the same time. Yeah. And I'll go into the block folder. Here we see the first difference. Yeah. So basically, what we want to make sure of is that everything is the same. If it isn't the same, then it won't import. First things first, the names of these folders, the assets folder, Minecraft folder, textures folder, those are all going to be fine. However, as you can see, this folder is called block. However, in the 1.12.21, it's called blocks. So that's something we want to change. And this might be a little bit confusing or something like that at first. Um, but basically, to make a texture pack for 1.19, or 1.20 or 1.16, you know, um, this folder needs to be called block. Only if this folder is called block, it'll work. However, if you make fun one for 1.12.2, this folder has to be called blocks. Jay, they changed it along the road. I don't ask me why. It's really annoying, but that's the thing. You know, um, entity. That folder, it's called the same. So for 1.19, it's called entity, and for 1.12.2, it's called entity. Items, you will again need to add the S. Really annoying. Anyways, once you've made sure that all your folders are the same names of these, um, if you don't have each of them, as you can see, I only have the blocks folder, then that's fine. We're done here. Yeah, this part is done. Next, you want to actually enter the folders itself themselves, right? Because as I was explaining earlier, some items have different names. And in the search bar of the full 1.12.2 thing, you want to look up whatever your texture pack is changing. Um, if it's everything, then you basically just want to do everything. You can just work from bottom to top. But in my case, it's only the wool. And if I look up wool, I can see that for my 1.19 texture pack, this wool, the black colored wool, was called black underscore wool. However, for 1.12.2, it's sadly called wool colored black, which means that I'm going to need to rename this to wool underscore colored, yeah, underscore black, just like that. And I'll need to do that for everything. Yeah, so blue wool. Oh, looks like wool colored blue. So I'll need to rename this to wool colored blue. Yeah, you get the idea. You just need to do that on and on and on and on and on until you've renamed everything with the correct names. And that's really, really annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it. And if you don't rename them, they just won't show up inside of Minecraft. Now, luckily, you won't need to rename everything because items like swords are most of the time just named the exact same. The good news is, once you've correctly renamed all the items you have here, if you're really lucky, you haven't had to rename any 
you might have had to rename some of them, maybe all of them. Anyways, then you can head back out here to the assets pack that MC Meta and um, potentially also your pack icon. Do you just want to make sure you're here? Yeah, and, and now you're completely done and you can just do whatever you would normally do when making a Minecraft texture pack. Just literally do the exact same things you did when you made this texture pack in the first place. As I'm assuming you made it, but otherwise just follow along. Um, you want to select everything, right click, and then compress them all to a zip file. This is going to be your pack, call this anything you want. In my case, it's 64 is clean wool, and then in this case, it's the 1.12.2 version of that pack. So, um, just so I remember, I'm going to put that in the name as well. Anyways, basically, you can keep these if you want, um, especially the assets folder. You can keep that if you also want to port other packs, otherwise you'll have to go through the process of getting it again. But I already have it saved to my computer on a different location, so I can just throw that away, as we won't need it anymore. Yeah, then the next thing you can do is, um, you know, keep your texture pack in a place that you know of, and then just grab the Minecraft launcher and launch up Minecraft 1.12.2. I have launched up Minecraft 1.12.2 right over here, um, and then I can just go to Options, Resource Packs, and open up the Resource Pack folder. Yeah, then in here I can move my texture pack I've just made. Make sure to not accidentally drag it into any other existing texture packs. Um, so as you can see, I've got my pack right over here. It's in here. All these other packs are incompatible because they're not for 1.12.2. However, my 1.12.2 pack um, is fine. So you can click on the arrow and click on done. And this is going to work for Minecraft. Yeah, now I can just um, load up any 1.12.2 world if I have any. Uh, yep, I should have one. There we go. Right over there. We can just uh, load it up and then we should be able to see that, um, in fact, um, if I just change my game mode. We can see that, in fact, if I look up wool, that all the wool are going to be the clean wool for my texture pack. Yeah. So. You know, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Now, obviously, um, this can be confusing or whatever at times. Um, and then feel free to, you know, ask questions or whatever you want down in the comments below. Um, but for right now, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.